Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another current lifestyle favorites video. I have so many good things that I cannot wait to share with you. I absolutely love filming my favorites videos. I feel like I show so much newness on my channel all the time because I'm constantly trying new products, reading them, reviewing them, all that good stuff. But this I feel like is like the highlight reel of all of that in case you can't keep up with all the different products that I mentioned in my vlog. This is like the place to go to for like my ultimate favorites um, that I've tried throughout like the month or so. Um, I've got a ton of different products across many different categories so we're going to jump in i'm going to separate them out so it's a little bit easier to follow along like always everything will be listed down below links so it's easy for you guys to pick up anything and let me know in the comments down below i'm curious to know if you've tried anything from any of my recent favorites video if you love it if you don't um yeah i take very seriously the products that i recommend because i don't know i don't want to lead you guys to bad stuff i want to give you the best of the best so let's get into it Okay, so we're starting with makeup. I have three new makeup items to share with you guys that I've been loving this month. And I tried them all in my recent um, Girl Talk Get Ready With Me Sephora haul video, which if you have not seen that, I will link that down below so you can get kind of more of a full um, like demo of them. But I've been loving these. Also, all of my makeup every time is always linked in the description box down below. I always update it with what I'm wearing, which I need to update it again because honestly, you guys, I've kept my makeup routine the same for years and years and years, and I'm now starting to branch out. So it's the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I got mine in the color Patagonia. It's a bit dark for me, but I can still work. I love this foundation. I stepped out of my comfort zone. You guys know I've been a cosmetics CC cream girl for my, like, not my entire life, but probably for the past, like, I don't know, 10-ish years. I don't, it's good. I love it. But um, I started using the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Filter one, and then this one broke the internet, I feel like, so I had to pick it up. I had never tried a NARS foundation. Uh, I don't think, no, concealer. I have them. I just never try them um, because I'm very, very picky with foundations, like insanely picky. I hate when they settle into my lines. I hate when they just, like, don't last but whatever comes with a pump love this stuff i use two pumps go ahead and massage it in with my fingers and then kind of buff it out with a beauty blender that's what i find works best for me you do want to shake this really well um it is not i would say it's a very natural finish it gives you glowy look but it's not dewy if that makes sense it sets in place and stays all day which i absolutely love um to go with that i've been <laughs> loving this Kosas concealer. I've tried Kosas in the past, but I've never tried their concealer. And I am a die hard shape tape by Tarte concealer user. Like it has been my go-to and it's still more coverage than this guy. This doesn't claim to be like super coverage. It is, um, the revealer. It's a super creamy and brightening concealer. And it is that, but it also like sets so well that it doesn't like crease, which when I think creamy, I think creasing. This is not crease at all. Honestly, it's less creasing than my Tarte Shape Tape. All concealers will sometimes crease, but this does not sit in the lines. It's just amazing. I absolutely love this. I have the color 04 N, which I could have gone down a shade. Um, this is like my skin tone now in the summer. So I'm not a huge like brightening sort of concealer girl. This gives like a glow to you, but not like your concealer is seven shades lighter than your face. That makes sense. I love this concealer. I can't believe that it's taken me so long to try it. I have so many different concealers, but I consistently would always just rebuy the Tarte one. Um, so I decided to sh step out of my little comfort zone and I was insanely presently surprised. Okay, this next product I actually have on my lips currently right now. This is the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. It's not one of those plumping glosses that like burns your lips off or like feels tingly. None of that. Like literally none of that. It just provides like volume because it's like thick but not goopy. If that makes sense. It stays on. It's so smooth. It's just pretty. I have the color Daisy Pink. I absolutely love the applicator. It's like just hugs the lips so well. It's like a, no, it doesn't really have like a smell of any sort. I really like Lawless. It's more of a natural brand, um, but this has been good. Um, so very excited about the three new makeup products that I 
stepped out of the box and tried this month. I actually have no skincare to share with you guys this month, which is kind of crazy, but I do have hair care. So I feel like I've been pretty open and talked to you guys a lot about my psoriasis that I suffer with on my scalp, like dandruff, psoriasis. It gets worse in certain times and whatnot. And I will say like, it really depends on the weather. It depends on different factors that really affect my scalp. Um, when I lived in Florida and was in salt water and in the like sunshine all the time, I had no issues with it. It cleared itself up. But nowadays I'm wearing a hat when I go walking. So the scalp, my scalp really doesn't see any sort of sunshine cause I'm like no age spots to my life. And, um, I'm not really swimming in salt water like at all. So scalp care is really, really important to me. And it's been a struggle for me. I'm not gonna lie for a while. And I'm like, debating if I should just go to a dermatologist and I probably should but I've been trying this and I've been pleasantly surprised so far granted I've only used it a couple times I think I've used it four times and I know I've used half of the bottle and four times this is an affordable hair care product so don't freak out <laughs> and I'm using a lot more of it to just kind of see what it will do and using it more frequently than I probably would once I build it into my routine love this stuff it is not greasy on your hair you put it on before you shampoo um, I've done a video like a vlog of it um, but you basically just like put it on the scalp and massage it into your hair at least 15 minutes before you shampoo your hair and it's supposed to help with just dandruff dryness of your scalp. It's got a bunch of like squalene oils and different oils in there that's supposed to just like make your hair look healthier, your scalp like hydrated and whatnot. So I've been thoroughly enjoying this so far. Like I said, I do a double shampoo after I put this in and I have no like buildup or residue in my hair whatsoever, which is really important to me. I didn't want like something thick that took like forever to get out of your hair. So I've been really loving this. Um, I don't know if it's like truly like helped my psoriasis. I feel like it calms my psoriasis down, um, but yeah, I've been enjoying this so far and I will continue using this and continue to report back, but I want to say it's like 28 bucks. So it's a really good like deal for like a scalp oil situation. That hair care line, the G um, VN is more of like an affordable hair care line. That's like high end. If that makes sense. Um, two other hair care products that I've been loving are this one and a half inch barrel hot tools curling iron that I bought on Amazon. I want to say earlier this month or the end of last month, um, and my Velcro rollers. So I love this sort of like, I didn't use them today. Well, I didn't use the rollers today, um, just because my hair still like had enough life to it. But you can see I get this like curled in sort of like, I don't know, body to my hair. Oh, and I just got my hair done. So I have some more shorter layers. So when I do use my rollers in this curling iron, I get a lot more like, of that sort of scooped under look, which I love. So I take the roller and I roll it forward first to give myself like some volume at the root. And then I roll it backwards like this <laughs> to give myself like a like flared out curtain bang look. So I just take the curling iron, go ahead and heat up the hair, curl it under, and then set it with the Velcro roller while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. Absolutely love the look. I'm so happy that I decided to get a larger barrel curling wand because it just gives more of a natural wave to your hair. It doesn't last as long as a tighter barrel, but I still love the look I'm able to achieve with this. And it was really affordable on Amazon. And I've been loving my super large Velcro rollers. All right, that is everything for hair. Let's move on to accessories and fashion and some random bits. Um, all right, so these earrings I did in a recent Amazon haul as well. I had been on the hunt for like a set of drop pearl earrings and I love these. They have the gold accent. This pack came with a set of like 10 earrings, I wanna say, maybe six earrings for like less than 10 bucks. It was super affordable and I absolutely love these. For me, jewelry, I have to see if I'm gonna wear it long enough to be able to know if I wanna invest in it. Like these pearl earrings, I feel like pearls are timeless, right? You, you can't, like they're never gonna go out of style. Um, but other jewelry, I like to test out to see how much I actually wear it before I decide to invest in it. So that's what I wanted to do with these little pearl earrings, see if they're more of a trendy piece for me or see if they're more of like a, like every weekend sort of piece that I wanna invest in. Makes sense? So I always try out Amazon jewelry first and then invest in higher quality jewelry once I find out that I love the style. And I do that a lot with most things in my life. This next thing I got from my recent Aerie haul, if you haven't seen that, I will link that down below. It's just a super cute like smiley face hat. I love this thing, so cute. It goes with like everything because it's a light denim, 
Um, it covers the ears, which is super important. And it's just, I mean, trendy with the little smiley face. I love it. So happy that I picked that up. All right. And then moving on to clothing. Um, also from my area haul are these little like jogger things. These are the offline um, I don't know. They're the offline collection, but they're like leopard sort of print. Scott calls them my digitalized leopard because they look very like digital print. I don't know. I love them. I love that they have the draw drawstring at the top. Um, I love working out in these. I can wear them with like a black top or even like this like gray top. I have one similar to it. Um, they're just really nice. They're a legging, but they have a jogger look to them. Um, they're thicker, but they're squat proof and... Yeah, I like to wear them on walks and I like to wear them to the gym. They're super cute and I wish that I grabbed like a more neutral color as well, which I probably will, but I also just love this green. So absolutely love that find from Aerie this month. All right, now my newest legging obsession. You guys know I love to invest in higher quality pieces when it comes to workout wear. I love Lululemon, specifically they're one of my favorites. Um, but I also love to find good Amazon workout clothes if the quality is good and it's good stuff, you know? Like, I have, it has to be good or I don't care. I'd rather just get nicer ones if they're not that good. But CRZ Yoga, you absolutely know I love their workout tanks. I wear them every single day to the gym, every single day. I own them in just about every single color. And they finally have their sizing like perfect. I used to be a medium and now I'm a true small like across the board, so that's awesome. I feel like they fixed that. And they also have like the softest material in the newer um, like high neck long line sports bras that I wear, which I will link those down below. You guys know if you watch my vlogs, they're in every single vlog. But they released these Butterlux leggings that I saw that they, they, I saw them on their like Instagram or something. And I was like, I need to try those because they look amazing. And they are amazing. If you guys saw, I hauled these ones a while ago. These are their, the Butterlux, like I said, I believe this is Malagnite, Magnite? I'm not sure exactly. It's like a charcoal gray sort of color. I originally got these in a small, but then I realized that an extra small would be better for me. So if you're typically a four in Lululemon, I will go down to a size extra small and not a small. They're just so stretchy and so skin-like that like you can go smaller and they don't dig in. They're not compressive at all. They're, I know. How many times can I say it? They're like Lululemon Align dupes, but they really are. I'm telling you, nothing to lose. Try them out and see. They did offer to send me some of the leggings, so I already ordered these before they even offered to send me the other ones um, because they saw how much that I already love the workout tanks. I'm pretty sure they gave me, this isn't sponsored, but I'm pretty sure they gave me a coupon code, so I will link it here as well as down below if you guys are interested in trying anything out. I think it only works on their site but I'll confirm and list details down below. But you can also get them on Amazon. These are so amazing, you guys, like so amazing. So I have this color, this like teal blue, which is so pretty. And then this brown, which oh, I love. These are so, like, I'm not kidding you. So soft, so comfortable. I've worn every single pair of these so far, washed them, dried them. I don't line dry or do anything fancy with my workout wear. Like they have to be like not high maintenance, but Anyways, I do that with my Lulus and I don't care either. But these are awesome, you guys. Seriously, try them out. I, again, like I said, have no problem investing in activewear. But if I can find some that are like just as good quality, if not better, at an affordable price, I'm going to buy them. So, yes, you need those. They're awesome. Highly, highly recommend. Um, and like I said, if I have anything for you guys, I will link it down below in terms of coupon codes. And then these jeans. Y'all always ask me why I'm always like super out of breath and sound out of breath in my videos. And I honestly think it's A, the way I'm like sitting on the ground like this, my legs fall asleep and I like feel like my lungs can't work. But I also think I forget to breathe because I'm just like so excited and just so, <laughs> I don't know, I have problems. Anywho, <laughs> that's why. Um, it honestly reminds me of when I was pregnant, but I'm not um, because I would always be out of breath when I was pregnant. But anywho, these mom jeans from H&M, I can't believe. I actually had to go back in my old favorites videos and make sure that I haven't talked about these before because I don't know how I haven't. They are the best jeans I've ever found in my entire life. And y'all always comment on my recent Shein haul I just did. I will link that down below if you haven't seen it. Um, some of you were commenting like these jeans were like made for me and you're right, they were. 
and they're made for you too. They're the best jeans in the entire world. They're plain, such a medium wash. They fit perfectly. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. They are go my go-to, honestly. I have so many jeans. I'm always finding new jeans, always adding new jeans to my collection because I am a jeans girl through and through. But these have been my favorite find from H&M jeans, but they've been my favorite find of jeans all year. Like, I love these. They're perfect. And I know mom jeans typically aren't the most flattering, but those ones really, those ones do it for me. I love them. All right, moving along, I have some workout favorites, I guess. I don't know. These sneakers, I grabbed these, I want to say at the end of last month. I've had them for a couple weeks now. They are the Metcon 4s by Nike. I got the all black. They have a couple of different colors, but I just wanted something basic to go with all of my workout wear. I work out every single day and I love my on sneakers. Um, they discontinued the style that I have um, that I love and have worn for over a year, about a year and a half now at this point. Um, and they came out with a new style and I like them. I just don't love any of the colorways right now. So I'll wait until they come out with a better colorway because I prefer those ones for walking, but I love these for like working out and whatnot, running, um, weightlifting. They're just a good basic shoe. And yeah, I never was a fan of all like, like black shoes with white soles, but these grew on me and I really like them. So yes, if you're looking for a good pair of gym sneakers, check them out. All right, and the next item that I got for the gym is a gym bag. I think I hauled this in a recent vlog as well. Um, like I said, I haul a lot of things, but not all of them make it to favorites. But basically I have this like barbell pad set. I'm not a huge gym bag girl because I wear what I wear to the gym. I don't change afterwards or bring anything special or different, but I do need a barbell pad. And I had a, like a slim bag for this, but the mesh like ripped. So um, I needed a new one. So that's what sparked me into getting this bag. I wanted something small. I didn't want something huge. I wanted something that would literally just fit my barbell and this literally like just fits my barbell. Um, so this is, I think one of the smallest sizes they make. Um, it's just a basic like nylon gym bag. It's good. It's got handles, but also like a crossbody strap, super affordable. I wanted a Lululemon one, but I wasn't going to spend like $200 on a gym bag because it's a gym bag. So very happy with the quality of this guy and yeah, happy that I have that in my life. All right, next thing I need to talk to you guys about, and I like hesitated for talking about this for a while because it's really pricey. It's the Ember mug. I actually have tea in it right now because it's my favorite dog hair for drinking tea. Um, this is like a, a not a self heating, but it's like a heated mug essentially. It comes with an app and I absolutely love it, especially for tea. Cause I don't know if you're like this, but like I have an electric kettle and it boils and the water's like over 200 degrees and I put it in my cup and then I would forget, well, I couldn't drink my tea then cause it was like boiling obviously. And then by the time you remember that your tea is probably cool, it's like too cold at that point and then you need to heat it up and the process just starts over again. So I love this. It like monitors the temperature at 137, which is what I picked for black tea. Um, it has it for coffee, lattes, all that stuff. Mm. It has like a charging pod, which I keep in where I do my work in Arlo's nursery, but um, it will stay off the charger for about an hour and a half battery power, depending on how hot it is. Um, but I absolutely love it because how many times do I pour a cup of hot coffee and forget that I have it? I don't drink it fast enough and then it's cold and then I have to reheat it and it becomes an issue. The one thing I will say about this guy and I've heard other people talk about this is that the coffee setting on here is like 135 and it can create like a milk like skin like film on top. So be careful of that. I typically turn it down to 130 and have no issue whatsoever, um, but it is my favorite. I didn't know I needed this until Scott got me it for Christmas and Literally favorite gift ever. Speaking of coffee, this is my favorite creamer that I've had in a very long time. This is the Starbucks Zero Creamer. It's zero sugar added. It still has sugar in it. Um, and it's one of the more like better for you ingredients, I would say for sugar-free creamers, half of them are like just filled with crap. And this one has eight ingredients and I can pronounce them most of them <laughs> but I like this the hazelnut latte is my favorite flavor 
So if you see this at your, I can only get it at Target. If you see it at your Target, pick it up. Highly recommend it. It does have that like artificial sugar flavor at the end, but I can get past it. Don't have an issue with it at all. And yeah, I'm a huge creamer girl. I need like four servings of this. I need, I need my creamer. I need my creamer with some coffee situation. That's how I roll. As always, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all of your love and support and I will see you all in my next video. Bye you guys.